Hi, my name is Susan Lohman and I'm the Crochet Architect. I'm also a fiber enthusiast, which means I do a little bit of spinning of yarn. A few weeks ago, I got a new electric spinning wheel called the Electric Eel Wheel 6.0, and I would like to demonstrate that for you since a few of you have asked to see it in action. So, let's get started. This is my new spinning wheel, the Electric Eel Wheel 6.0, and this is my old one, the Electric Eel Wheel Nano. You can see that this wheel is much bigger. This also comes with a lot of nice features. One of them is a battery compartment underneath. I'm always fiddling with this. And you can put in your nice battery pack to run it on battery. Or you can run it on electricity and with your AC adapter plugged into the wall, of course. Um, the 6.0 has, of course, your uh, orifice hook, and it's got two different size ends on it. Let me show it to you here. The smaller end is when you have the orifice reducer in the front, and this is this piece right here. You can take this out if you're spinning thicker yarn and then you would need the wider hook end for that. But it's got magnets here, so you don't lose that. You've got your spinning adjustment here, your speed, and I'm still a new spinner, so I keep mine pretty low. I've got it between one and two, and it goes up to six. You've got your Z-twist and your S-twist. And if you don't know what that is, if you think of the letter Z, your twist is running this way, the center of the Z letter. And if you think of the letter S, your twist is running the opposite way, which is the center of the S. And then this piece right here is your tension for your bobbin up here. You've got your drive belt here, which goes to the motor inside. You've got the wheel here attached to the motor inside here and it all works really really well. So you can run this on battery or AC and the same thing with the Nano. The Nano does not have a compartment below to house your battery pack and I just have this one plugged into a little battery pack right now. Another nice feature about the 6.0 is I have a foot pedal and this gray cord here is going to my foot pedal on the floor. So when I'm spinning, I can keep both hands on my fiber supply and not have to take one hand off to turn off with the switch my spinning wheel. And that's what I have to do with the Nano because I don't have a foot pedal with that. And there are lots of different uh, places to plug things in. This is for the foot pedal, which they're calling a switch, which basically it is a switch, and for the power. And then here's the on and off for my battery supply. So let's get, go ahead and start some spinning. Got my foot pedal here, and I've got my fiber, and I've got it set to the speed that I want it at, and I can just turn it on with the switch, and you can hear how quiet it is. It's very little noise. And what I love about both of these spinning wheels is they're nice and compact. You can take them traveling with you just about anywhere. I don't know if I would trust an airline with one, but they fit in a car, they fit in a trailer or a motorhome, so you can take them wherever you want. I'm not really good with spinning yet. I still struggle with drafting my fiber correctly, but I'm improving all the time.
So that is how to spin on the 6.0. Now you'll see these two hooks on top. There's two on this. Uh, this is the flyer wheel, I believe, and there's two on this side. So you manually move these to get your fiber to go to a different part of your bobbin. So you want to try to equally fill up your bobbin across back and forth. So every five minutes or whatever, I'll go ahead and I'll just slide it over to the next spot. And the same thing with the Nano. They have a little bit different hooks on here, and those also get slid across as you are spinning. Now let me straighten this out, and I will also demonstrate on the Nano so you can hear the difference. You heard how quiet the 6.0 was. The Nano is a little bit noisier. It has this little you really hear the flyer wheel going around, but it spins just fine too. And of course you can adjust your speed. If that's too low, you turn it up, get it going a little faster. I find that as my bobbin starts filling up more on my Nano, and I haven't gotten to that point yet on the 6.0 because it is a larger bobbin. But as the bobbin starts filling up, I need to increase the speed a little bit on my Nano. And sometimes you also need to change the tension on here. And this is how the tension is on the Nano. It's just got this little elastic thing here. So, but on the Nano, here's that switch. I have to actually use this switch instead of a foot pedal. So I have to take my hands off the fiber to turn it on and off. Another huge difference, as you can see, is the size of the bobbins. This is a really big bobbin, and I believe it fits somewhere between four and eight ounces of fiber when it's fully full. The Nano only fits like a little over an ounce. I have another full bobbin here from my Nano, and I weighed it along with an empty bobbin, and it's only 1.1 ounces, and that's pretty much full. And I can ply this one ounce with another one ounce from my Nano onto my 6.0, and it will hold all the fiber from both bobbins. But if I was going to ply these two on my Nano, I would only go about halfway through this fiber and halfway through this fiber before the other small bobbin was full of the plied fiber. So that's another big benefit of the 6.0. And I got my special Lazy Kate that I ordered. This comes in three different parts, so you can do three ply if you like. You just hook these two together and you put your two full bobbins of singles on here and then you can ply them together on the 6.0. Before I got the lazy cape for plying my yarn, this is what I made. <laughs> it's a little plying box and it's perfectly collapsible. I just used a couple of chopsticks, which can be removed. I put a couple holes in each side and I just fold that up and that becomes my traveling Lazy Kate. But I'm going to enjoy this new Lazy Kate a whole lot better. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the electric eel wheel 6.0 and that you were able to compare adequately with the electric eel wheel nano. I really enjoy both of these wheels. I think each of them has a great place. Both of them are small and compact and easy for traveling. They both run on battery power or electricity and I hope I've answered a lot of the questions that you've had on the Electric Eel Wheel 6.0.
Both of these spinning wheels are made by Dreaming Robots, and I've included a link to the Dreaming Robots webpage in the video description below. And here's a disclaimer, I don't get any kickback from recommending these. If you purchase them from Dreaming Robots, I get nothing from it. So if you would like to help support me, please go to my pattern page and purchase a pattern. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my crocheting or spinning or whatever else I come up with videos, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and happy spinning to all of you.